you got that Believer by Fanatic Media sweatshirt, all kinds of, oh. I decided to strap a GoPro to the four-wheeler. That happened. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back to the every other day vlogs on the Fanatic channel. We're selling merch. We're saving to buy a house. We are, uh, we're grinding her out. But yeah, the new line, the new website, it is all up and ready to go. But yesterday I, uh, I bought a new duck. No, it's okay. <laughs> So what type of duck is this? This is a black Swedish. Just a black Swedish, okay. Yeah, yeah I had one duck get out last night. It just oh got no. it just got out. So I've got a lonely duck. Aww. So I needed I needed to have a friend. Okay, let me stop you right there. I know you're about to see my new duck, but you're probably confused. Yeah, my Swedish Peking duck left. Was actually quite confused on why, but it did. And it left right here. My Swedish Peking got right under there and completely escaped. In the meantime, I'm gonna set this trap right there. That way I can't have any more ducks get out. Obviously, I've got to put some chicken wire or something right there to keep the ducks from getting out. My security cameras, I have a, a few angles I can kind of see over here and I just watch it get under and leave. Probably because our male duck was uh, being a little rowdy with her. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him in the waterfall. They love wrestling or maybe she didn't. Maybe that's why she left. So I got another male duck. Let's go. Say welcome home. Honey. Oh, Bruce is nice. How cute he is. Is he cute? Does he look cute? Yeah. Hey, friends. There is the new duck. Hey, welcome home. Look. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the water. See, there you go. So yeah, Bruce. I think that's going to be his name. What's up, Bruce? It is a full Swedish duck, so not a Swedish Pekin, and his wings are clipped. I believe that's what they told me, and hopefully he can no longer get out. All the animals are doing good. The heat lamps are on. It is nice outside. The pen is dope. Hey, cutie. Hi, sweetie. Look at her. She's getting, she's getting so much better. I don't live in the country or anything. If you're new to my channel, that's not me. I'm not like a, a country boy. I, some of you guys might think I am. I live in a suburban city. I buy mini goats. I've got a pretty average size backyard, but we make some pretty epic videos on the channel. Like today, we're going to rescue some goldfish. I keep forgetting I just got my wisdom teeth out, so that is painful. Oh. All right, so I'm going to apologize really, really quick because it is freaking windy out here. But we've got a guy who works at this apartment complex. They've got this pond or a fountain of goldfish, and they don't feed them ever. So he asked that we come take them. But yeah, we've got some stuff. For starters, because uh, we were playing this time, we went and grabbed a bag, a new net, and that's actually, uh, well, uh, that's all we have. We're going to make it work. Are there fish? Yeah. A lot of fish. <laughs> Look, there are some fish in here. Oh, that's as good as it gets. See, uh, you know, I would say they don't need rescuing, but he said they're not feeding them because they don't, they don't want to. We got a bag. I'm guessing we got, we got to fill this up with water. We just found a new net for this. You guys just stay tuned to the end of the video because you guys were going to, you're going to see where all these goldfish are going, which is actually going to be freaking sick. We're feeding them to all of my fish. <laughs> <laughs> the ducks, we're feeding them to the ducks. You maybe not. You not, dude. All right. Oh, oh, I just got the Believer by Fanatic Media merch wet. TheFanaticBrand.com. We are selling out on this stuff. You gotta go get some. All right. Look at that. We already got one, two, three, four, five. There's a few hundred. All right. We got a lot of goldfish. These are freaking big, bro. Will the ducks eat them? <laughs> Kidding, guys. We're not gonna be. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. Look at all of the goldfish. Yeah, look at all these. Okay. That's all we need. That's all we need. That's we don't all. want to get the rest of them. We'll just let those ones die. The fountain water is freezing. Like I'm pretty sure I have hypothermia in my hand. The more you grab, the more that show up. I mean, how many are in here? Yeah, I don't know how many we're keep grabbing. I guarantee there's over a hundred. <laughs> No, no, no. Whoa. Look at the oh. size of that thing. Dang it, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Here's another one. And another one. Oh, and another one. one. Did you get it? And you still missed it. It's like the size of a carp. Oh my goodness, dude. That is a large, large mouth carpet croaker. It's a large nose carpet croaker. All right, how many more do we got? I believe that is all of them. There's thousands. Gracious. That is crazy. 100%, dude. There's so many goldfish. Okay, let's go. All right, let's do this. It's cold. 
this one right here is massive. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at how many goldfish are in here? All right, I want you guys to guess in the comment section below how many goldfish we just acquired. Um, you can't, don't cheat, because we're gonna tell you at the end. But yeah, that is uh, that is all the goldfish we just rescued. Yeah, that's great. I think uh, I think that works out perfect. So we will see you guys back at the place we are going to disperse these fish. It's windy, the fish are acclimating. Okay, they have been acclimated. We gotta pour them into the net. We don't wanna pour that nasty water in Run, there. Max, Run, Max! Run, Max, they're gonna die. Daddy, you got goldfish! Did I get, I got what? You got goldfish! No, these are, uh, these are African cichlids. Oh my gosh, oh, 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 come on. Come on, Jeffrey. It might not look like a lot of goldfish right Are here. we gonna count them? Um, but uh, let's see. There's three already put in there. This water is significantly warmer uh -huh. than what was in that that fountain. 102. 102 goldfish. Told you there was over 100. Woo! Look at that. Nice and gentle release into their new home. And uh, now we just gotta fry them. So I don't wanna show you guys a lot of this stuff. This is because if you watched today's rescue video, then you know we also rescued a hamster. Oh my gosh. Are you sure that's a, dude, that thing is massive. Hey, how's it going? Um. So somebody earlier left a hamster in you know, his dumpster. Hamster, yeah. yeah a Syrian long-haired hamster. Yes, we did. It was left at a dumpster. You should watch that video. If this video goes viral, go make the other go video I have to buy. Yeah, so this is all on Chris's channel. You guys know it's always linked in the description. And uh, yeah, you can uh, basically see its new habitat or home that it's going into. We are currently taking a family trip to Walmart. So as I'm walking through Walmart, people are staring at me. I'm gonna do something called a story time. I've never done this before, but if you guys are familiar with somebody called the Hype House, basically it's a fairly large group on social media that I've worked with before. And, if, and let me give you some background information if you don't know who they are. They're, they're, they're TikTokers. Actually, genuinely, a lot of the people in there who I know personally, who are some of my friends, two of them being Tony and Andre Lopez, known as the Lopez Brothers. I've worked with them, done some videos with them before, super cool guys. Alex Warren and some other people who are big vloggers in the house as well, I know them, but not as well. But my question is, would you guys like to see me fly back out to LA, go to the Hype House, and bring massive, like massive snakes in there and get the reactions? I'm putting snakes on them with probably Jay from Jay Prehistorics and all that good stuff. Would you be interested in that? You don't have to like them, that's not the point. The point is, would you be interested and seeing their reaction to that video. Let me know. But we are here for something specific and that is the big worms, 30 of them. You guys know we've got the worms, we've got a GoPro. So we're gonna do underwater footage on this, obviously. I'm gonna open this on up. This is what they look like for everybody who has a fear of worms, all you people out there, which I know, I know there's some of you. I've met you before. Um, I have a fear of spiders, so it's okay. Yeah, all these guys, oh, they're about to munch. Hi, can you, can you guys see me? Okay, this is our bucket of worm bucket. Our small container, let's see what happens. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the beginning, I literally spilt everything. The entire thing of worms. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I don't know what it looks like until I start editing, which will be here in just a moment. But if you guys are easily disgusted, this is for you. I'm gonna pour this food in. And yeah, you're about to see, see, they just, they tear it up. Like, they, are you watching, are you watching Jake Paul? Oh my gosh. But yeah, everything is eating in here. Like absolutely everything. It's just, it's just munching. Let's see, we'll pour a little bit more in so all the fish can get some, but yeah, that's super good for them. And it's blowing all around, if you guys didn't know, because the new filter. These guys can have it too. This is fantastic freshwater food. See all that stuff right there? Yeah, they will devour it. Guppies will like it. There we go. Show quality beta fish. Hey, we're feeding everything at one time. Look at all that stuff in there. Yeah, he will love that. The beta fish and neons in here. Oh, that's, oh yeah, yeah, they'll eat all that. Guppies in here, and that is the end of that. But the tank room, everything in here is doing A-OK. -okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I haven't been making outros as much recently. I've kind of just been cutting to the end card, so yeah.